providence, have consented that we and worthy sinners should rise from beds of sleep and obtain entrance into your holy house this day. Accept, Lord, the voice of your prayers as you accept those of your holy and angelic powers, that not through our defiled lips, but from pure hearts and humble spirits, praise may be offered to you, so that we also with the bright lamps of our souls may offer to you glory with the Father, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into ages of ages. Amen. Master Jesus Christ, our God, lead us upon the holy mountain of love, just as you led your chief apostles upon a lofty mountain. And open the eyes of our minds to a state of unspeakable beauty, just as for your apostles you surrounded them, your, your bodily form, with a marvelous brightness. For you revealed the rays of your Godhead through your body. Guide us into better things by your all-powerful right hand. Beyond our understanding, you changed this limiting form. Now raise our senses to see your Lordship witnessed by Moses and Elijah. Give us a constant memory of the voice of your eternal Father, revealing his beloved Son, so that we may put your commandments into action and shine forth with you to those worthy of your immortal kingdom, who see in you the eternal Father, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-creating spirit, now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, cleanse us sinners. God, be merciful to us sinners. O God, cleanse us sinners and have mercy upon us. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fill all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Rise the kingdom of power, and glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come let us worship God our King. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and our God. Hearken, O Lord, to my righteousness, attend to my supplication, give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. Let my vindication come forth from your presence, let my eyes see righteousness. You have put my heart to the test, you have visited me in the night, you have tried me, and no unrighteousness has been found in me. Because of the words of your lips I have followed paths that are toilsome, that my mouth might not speak in the manner of men. Uphold my steps in your pathways, that my footsteps may not slip. I have called upon you, for you have heard me, O God. Incline your ear to me, and hear my words. Show the marvels of your mercies, saving those who hope in you from the adversaries of your right hand. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. You will protect me in the shelter of your wings. For the face of the ungodly who have oppressed me, my enemies have surrounded my soul. They have enclosed themselves in their own fat. With their mouths they spoke proudly. They that cast me out have now surrounded me. They have inclined their eyes to look askance at the ground. They have taken me like a lion ready to seize its prey, like a young lion lurking in secret places. <laughs> Arise, O Lord, go out to meet them and cast them down. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, your sword from the hand of your enemies. O Lord, separate the wicked during their lifetime from those who are least in the earth. From your hidden reserves, the bellies of the wicked are filled. They have been satisfied with sons, and they have received the rest of their substance to their babes. But as for me, I will appear before your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when your glory appears. To you, O Lord, I have lifted up my soul, O my God, in you I have put my trust. Let me never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Indeed, let none who wait on you be ashamed. Let those who are lawless without a cause be put to shame. Show me your ways, O Lord, teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are my God and my Savior. For you I have waited all the day long. 
Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness, which are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions committed unknowingly. According to your mercy, remember me for your goodness' sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he will set a law for sinners in the way. The meek he will guide in justice, and the humble he will teach his ways. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, to such as seek his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? For him shall he set a law in the way that he has chosen. His soul shall abide in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The sorrows of my heart are multiplied, bring me out of my distress. Behold my humility and my travail, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are multiplied, and they have hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me, and let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope in you. The innocent and upright have joined themselves to me, for I have waited for you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all of his troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sins. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you might be justified in your sentence and vindicated when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, you have loved truth, and the hidden and secret things of your wisdom you have revealed to me. Sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean, and wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, my humble bones shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Pray to me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your governing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would not have given it. With whole burnt offerings, you will not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart of God you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, to Zion in your good pleasure, and the walls of Jerusalem will be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblations and whole birth offerings. Then I shall offer your bulls on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. When the stone had been sealed by the Jews, while the soldiers were guarding thy most pure body, that is, rise on the third day, O Savior, granting life to the world. The powers of heaven therefore cried out to thee, O giver of life. Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to thy kingdom. Glory to thy dispensation, and thou who lovest mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come, you faithful, let us welcome the transfiguration of Christ, and let us joyfully cry as we celebrate the preachers. The day of holy gladness has come, the Lord has ascended Mount Tabor to radiate the beauty of his divinity. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who has brought forth the fruit of life for us. We entreat you, O sovereign lady, intercede together with the holy apostles and all the saints, that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord from day to day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. That is the kingdom of the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and the Amen. Amen. Today all mortal nature shines with the divine transfiguration in Christ with exaltation. Christ the Savior is transfigured to save us all. 
Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy.
a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you shall look and see the reward of the wicked. For you, O Lord, are my hope. You have established the most high as your habitation. Evil shall not come near you, no scourge come near your dwelling. For he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the viper and the adder, the lion and the dragon, you will trample underfoot. Because he has set his hope upon me, I will deliver him, I will protect him, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and glorify him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come, you faithful, let us welcome the transfiguration of Christ, and let us joyfully cry as we celebrate the free feast. The day of holy gladness has come. The Lord has ascended Mount Tabor to radiate the beauty of his divinity. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As we have no boldness because of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of you. For much more are the supplications of a mother able to incline the master to kind-heartedness. Despise not the prayers of sinners, O all pure one, for he who condescended to suffer for us is merciful and strong to save. <clears throat> Let your tender mercies quickly go before us, for we have become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and cleanse us from our sins for your name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of Asia. Amen. Today all mortal nature shines with the divine transfiguration and cries with exaltation. Christ the Savior is transfigured to save us all. Lord have mercy, Lord of 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 mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of 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 mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of 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 mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. O Christ God, worshiped and glorified at every season and in every hour in heaven and on earth, long suffering, deeply compassionate and greatly merciful, who loves the just and shows mercy upon the sinner who calls all men to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. Accept, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, cleanse our bodies, order our minds, purify our thoughts, and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and sickness. Compass us about with your holy angels that, guarded and guided by their legions, we may reach unity of faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, 
Without defilement, you gave birth to God, the word true, Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts and fashioner of all creation, who in your incomparable tender mercy sent down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our time, and through his precious cross tore up the handwriting of our sins, thereby triumphing over the principalities and powers of darkness. O Master and lover of mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication from us sinners, and deliver us from every deadly and dark transgression, and from all the visible and invisible enemies who have sought to do us harm. Nail our flesh with the fear of you, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts, but wound our souls with your love that ever gazing upon you, guided by your light, and beholding you the eternal life that no man can approach, we may send up unceasing praises and thanks to you, the Father without beginning, together with your only begotten Son, and your all holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Chosen bridegroom of hearts and souls through your incarnation and death on the cross, you have betrothed all mankind to yourself forever and have given us a pledge of eternal life, your most pure body and blood. Though at your call, I though unworthy dare to approach you by table, and struck by his majesty, I cry, Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. And the prophet Isaiah saw you sitting on the throne and was distressed by his impurity, you sent your angel to him with a live coal from the heavenly altar to purify his mouth. How shall I, who am defiled in body and soul, dare to approach your divine mysteries for communion, unless you yourself purify me from on high? Therefore I cry to you from the depth of my soul. Most gracious Jesus, touch also my foul mouth with the fire of your grace. Jesus, burn the thorns of my many sins. Jesus, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Jesus, lead my poor soul out of the prison of my passions. Jesus, destroy in me impure thoughts and evil lusts. Jesus, guide my feeble steps to the way of your commandments. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Desiring with infinite desire to eat with your disciples, last Passover before your passion, in order to give them the last and greatest pledge of your love, two days beforehand you sent two of them to Jerusalem to prepare your last supper. From this I learned how we also should prepare ourselves often for eating of our, <coughs> our divine Passover of your body and blood. Greatly I cry to you, Alleluia. Alleluia.
John relates of having taken a towel and rooted yourself, you washed your disciples' feet, teaching us that we should not approach your divine table unwashed with tears of repentance for our sins. Feeling the utmost need for this mysterious ablution and the scantiness of the tears of my heart and heart, with Peter I cry to you, Most gracious Jesus, wash me, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus, lay bare before me the abyss of my soul's corruption. Jesus, open within me the floodgates of heartfelt contrition. Jesus, bedew me with the drops of your mercy. Jesus, winnow and fan me with the fear of the judgment and the eternal torment. Jesus, awaken within me my sleeping conscience and strengthen its voice. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How then does he say, I came down from heaven? How can he give us his flesh to eat? said the Jews among themselves, when they heard your most glorious promise to give yourself as food to the faithful, because the hardness of their hearts made them unable to humbly believe and cry to you, Alleluia. Alleluia.
Yet keep we yourself that men may not fall away utterly, but cry to you gratefully. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite yourself, me with yourself forever. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Judas, do you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? You sorrowfully asked your unfaithful disciple when he came with a detachment of troops into the Garden of Gethsemane, seeking to betray you with a kiss. But even these trenchant words did not evoke repentance in his soul, which was hardened in evil. And knowing the incontinency of my own will, I fear, lest in my ingratitude I too someday give you a kiss like Judas. But strengthen me yourself by your grace, that with the good thief I may cry, Alleluia. Alleluia. that the world may believe that you have sent me. Thus you prayed in your last great prayer to the Father. Following your most sweet voice and trusting in the power of your prayer with faith, I cry to you. Jesus, who restores all to unity, unite us all inseparably with you and your Father. Jesus, who reconciles all, may we all be unanimous in faith and love to you. Jesus, intolerant of enmity and division, destroy impious heresies and schisms. Jesus, who loves and forgives all, gather into one flock all the lost. Jesus, who gives peace to all, allay the envy and quarrels among those who invoke your name. Jesus, who gives me communion of your very body and blood, may I be truly flesh of your flesh and bone of your bone. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Then when about to depart to the cross as the bridegroom of souls, you manifested to those who believe in you the last miracle of your love by changing bread into your body and wine into your blood. And as I peace on them for eternal life, I gratefully cry to you, Alleluia.
tongue you promised to give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God, and of the hidden manna. Through the envy of the devil who spoke by the mouth of the serpent, and through the eating of the forbidden fruit, the whole human race lost paradise and was delivered to death. But by partaking of your most pure body and blood, all men again grant all men are granted eternal life and rise up to their first inheritance. For the communion of your life-giving mysteries is a remedy against the serpent's poison and is the seed of immortality. Therefore, greatly I pray to you, all in the Your omnipotent grace alone encourages and draws me, so throwing myself into the abyss of your mercy, I cry. Jesus, who call all who are laboring and burdened to rest, receive me who am weary of this world and its vanity. Jesus, who came to call not the righteous but sinners to repentance, absolve me from my sins and passions. Jesus, who healed every sickness and every disease, heal the wounds of the corruption of my soul. Jesus, who satisfied the hungry, satisfy me with your body and blood. Jesus, who raised the dead, raised me to life from the death of sin. Jesus, conqueror of hell, rescue me from the jaws of the evil spirit. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. O most sweet and most generous Jesus, who came down from heaven like manna to nourish our souls and hearts in the sacrament of your most pure body and blood, Grant that I may communicate and condemn every divine mysteries, that being healed, satisfied, sanctified, and deified by you forever, I may thankfully cry to you, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O most sweet and most generous Jesus, who came down from heaven like manna to nourish our souls and hearts in the sacrament of your most pure body and blood, grant that I may communicate and condemn every divine mysteries, that being healed, satisfied, sanctified, and deified by you forever, I may thankfully cry out to you, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The most sweet and most generous Jesus, who came down from heaven like manna to nourish our souls and hearts in the sacrament of your most pure body and blood, grant that I may communicate and condemn to your divine mysteries. That being healed, satisfied, sanctified, and deified by you forever, I may thankfully cry to you, Hallelujah. 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 When the prophet Isaiah saw you sitting on the throne and was distressed by his impurity, he, you sent your angel to him with a live coal from the heavenly altar to purify his mouth. And how shall I, you be defiled in body and soul? Dare to approach your divine mysteries for communion, unless you yourself purify me from on high. Therefore I cry to you from the depth of my soul. Most gracious Jesus, touch also my foul mouth with the fire of your grace. Jesus, burn the thorns of my many sins. Jesus, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Jesus, leave my poor soul out of the prison of passions. Jesus, destroy me in my impure thoughts and evil lusts. Jesus, guide my feeble steps to the way of your commandments. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself forever. Jesus, God of my heart, come and unite me with yourself Amen. 
Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of nature. Amen. Archbishop Nathaniel, for his evidence, Archbishop Benjamin, 
for the honorable priest of the diaconate Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Yeah, awesome. 
transfiguration of Christ, crying joyfully, Christ is transfigured to save us all. Let us pray to the Lord. For holy at our God, and unto the youth and the glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. Oh Lord, save the fire. and are buffeted, and are restless, 
and we labor, working with our own hands. While reviled, we bless. While persecuted, we endure. While blasphemed, we exhort. We have become the filth of the world and the offspring of all things, even until now. I do not write these things to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have a myriad of tutors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For I begot you in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I beseech you, therefore, be imitators of me.
There are some translations of this particular gospel that identify the son of the father who comes to Jesus as being an epileptic, as we heard this morning. But if you will, I would like to focus on what the King James Version says. It says, he is a lunatic and suffers severely. Because at least to the modern ear, it covers a greater range of mental illness. We understand the pathology of epilepsy and of other mental disease illnesses fairly well these days. We may not know how to cure them, but we have ways of treating them. We understand epilepsy and, the, and most mental illnesses to be grounded in one or another abnormality of the brain, whether it be the result of a lesion in the brain or a chemical imbalance of some sort. And my purpose this morning is not to debate whether or not disease is a result of demonic possession or something else, but rather I would like to focus on the father of the boy and his frustration and inability, and inability that brought him to Christ's disciples to cure him. If someone has broken an arm or suffers from cancer, generally speaking, we have an almost immediately, immediate understanding of what is happening to the one who suffers. What the protocol for treatment is going to be, and to one degree or another, have some sympathy or empathy for him or her. And most of us all will understand that, for example, with cancer patients, not only would surgery, surgery and chemotherapy of some sort be necessary to treat the physical aspects of it, there, there are some psychological and spiritual dimensions that occur as well that also need attention. Whenever our mortality and frailty come to the fore through an illness, generally speaking, it is quite natural and understandable for us to find our minds preoccupied with the possibility of death as a result of our illness but also for us to sense a need to put our spiritual house in order, to forgive others and ourselves, to confront our human failings and shortcomings, to make things right with God and those around us. And in fact, serious physical illness can be a spiritual wake-up call for us. It can engender the need to treat a given disease in a manner that touches body, mind, and soul, the whole human person. But in the case of mental illnesses, things can be very different. Someone once said to me, the brain is not always the best tool with which to heal itself. Anyone who has lived with someone who suffers from schizophrenia or bipolar disorder knows exactly what I'm speaking of. Those who suffer from these and other mental illnesses don't think or act like the rest of us. We find ourselves frustrated time and time again by episodes that we cannot control or even understand. And this is not only because the case with those of us who love a mentally ill person, but also for the mentally ill patient himself or herself. I'm sure most of us know at least one person who has a condition like bipolar disease. Not, not only does it drive us crazy when they're in a manic state, but alarm us with bouts of, and, but they alarm us with their bouts of deep depression. When they start to feel better, they stop taking their medication, and the result is that the cycle will begin all over again. We quickly find ourselves like the father of the boy in this morning's gospel saying, Lord, have mercy. Our logic fails us. Our medical knowledge and science fail us. We fail us. And all that is left to say is, Lord, have mercy. We cannot do it ourselves. Like the disciples in the gospel, we wonder why it is that we cannot affect it on our own. Why we could not cast it out, in the words of the gospel. Those among us addicted to alcohol and drugs prescribed or not may ask the very same question ourselves. Why is it that we cannot overcome our addiction by the force of our will alone? Why is it we cannot cure our own son or daughter's addiction by shaming him or her back to hell? Why is it those who suffer and experience incomprehensible, the incomprehensible demoralization of addiction just can't do what it takes to stop? Why is it our brother who suffers from bipolar disorder can't grasp what is happening and take the meds that are prescribed to him? To us, it all seems clear and simple, right? But to the one who suffers, it is not always clear or simple. Let us take a close look at what is happening in the gospel this morning. First of all, the father, having exhausted all his human efforts to help his son, finally brings him to Christ to be healed. 
Even the disciples could do nothing for his son. And so, if you will, embracing his influence, having hit bottom, he falls down before Christ as a last resort. And truth be told, sometimes our faith is just not enough. And in fact, it is our weakness that proves effective. But I want to be sure we all understand the Father actually did do something. He came and knelt before Christ, if you will, admitting his powerlessness and that of even Christ's disciples. As human beings, we are body, mind, and spirit. We're not always just physical, we're not just physical beings that doctors treat. We're not just emotional beings that psychiatrists treat. We're not even just spiritual be beings that the clergy treat. We are all three. And to achieve wholeness, we need to treat the human body, mind, and spirit together. We do need to employ God, the God-giving gifts of the physician. We do need to care for our mental stress and turmoil with, with another human being. We need to pray and fast, to, do those, to use those spiritual gifts and tools God has provided for us. We need to treat the whole human person. I'd like to point out one final thing the patient love of the Father for His Son. The Father never gave up. As difficult as it was, I'm sure, to live with the Son and His incomprehensible disease, the Father did not give up. He loved His Son. Brothers and sisters, as frustrating, frustrating as it may be to live with someone who is mentally ill or addicted, or to live with ourselves, for that matter, like the Father, we must not give up. We must love the one who is afflicted, whether it be our son, our daughter, our parent, our friend, or even ourselves. I'd like to close with a story from the Desert Fathers, one that Father Hakko was fond of telling. There was a young man who went into the desert searching for a particular Abba or father to ask him a question. And when he found him, he asked the Abba, Abba, what is a Christian? And the Abba responded saying, a Christian is one who falls and gets up, falls and gets up, falls and gets up. I think this is not, a true, not only true of our struggle with our sins and shortcomings, but also in our struggles with our lunacy. God does not ask that we be successful even, that it may be just what we desire, that may be just what we desire, but He asks us to pick up ourselves to try again and just keep trying. Amen. Amen. Father 
Tyler, Kat Katrina, Maxim, Phyllis, Marlene, Ron, Kev, Kevin, Hunter, Thomas, Leah, Ralph, Connie, Barbara, Catherine, Julia, Sylvia, Adrian, Basil, Natasha, Nazari, Anna, Anastasia, John, Alexander, Constantine, Pauline, Michael, and Basil, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and the good works in this holy and all venerable house, for those who live and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy.
of Moscow, Reverend Benjamin, Archbishop of San Francisco and the Diocese of the West, may the Lord God remember his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Our Lord, the most blessed teacher, and Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, and our Lord, the most reverend Nathaniel, Archbishop of Detroit, and the Romanian Episcopate, the Holy Synod of the Orthodox Church in America, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, unto ages of ages. The President of our country for all civil authorities, enabled by the American people and for our armed forces everywhere. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, in the two ages of Asia. The Abbot, Mother, Mother Christopher, and for the Sisterhood of the Holy Monastery, may the Lord God, the his heavenly kingdom, always now and ever, in the age of the Eagles. For all those sick and suffering, all those who are orphans, widows, and suffering in nursing homes and hospitals, and those who have asked us to pray for them, may the Lord God remember them in his kingdom. Victoria Jesu is going to touch Charles Titor Militor Donator, but the Tor de Vine, the Michael Alexander, as he will ask the Dome to preserve and from Corazia. So, Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always come and never in the Jewish
believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and unto all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand, O Lord, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation.
perfect God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with you all. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let our God loves mankind, receiving them upon his holy, heavenly, ideal altar as a sweet spiritual fragrance, will send out upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our deliverance from all afflicts and wrath, danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Save us, have mercy on us, and give us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask it, O Lord. The angel of peace, a faithful God, according to our souls and bodies. Let us ask it, O Lord. Our deliverance of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask it, O Lord.
Son of the living God, who came to sin the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. And I believe also that this is truly thy own most pure body, and that this is truly thy own precious blood. Therefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in all of your ignorance, and made me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thy enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of my soul and body.
faithful gaze upon the transfiguration of Christ, which he presents our mind.
Vinea bisericii tale păzește o sfințește pe cei ce iubesc podoaba casei tale. După aceștia îi preamărește cu Dumnezeu să puterea ta și nu ne lăsa pe noi nici să ne lăsa cu tine. Pașe lumii tale dăruiește bisericilor tale, preoților, celor în autoritate și la tot poporul tău. Că toată darea cea bună și tot darul de săvârșit de sus este pogorând de la tine Părintele Lumilor. Și ție slavă și mulțumire și Crăciun înălțăm Tatălui și Fiului și Sfântului Duh, acum și purura și în veci și veci Up so intently on this icon of the Mother of God here, and I thought, 
when you look at that icon, then you see what it means that Christ became incarnate of her. She's, she's just holding him, her child, who is God, who came down and took flesh of her. You can just, you can just, you know, just picture the divine love that came down from above that we can't see in here, and he came in there and he's taking flesh of her. That means that he loves us so much, Father Pitalim will be 90 in a couple of days. Nine O. Nine O. And you know, so we serve God, we serve God in the ways that a heart uh, moves us, but also the grace of God. Because we can't live this life in peace and joy, even when there's turbulence around us, unless it's through the grace of God, unless it's through He Himself. Was always with us, walking and holding our hands. You know, they have that funny, not funny, what I want to say, you have a good word for it, but I don't know. It's that picture of Christ walking on the sand, you know, and there's only one of those. Yeah, yeah. Sentimental. Yeah, kind of sentimental, schmucky, you know. But it's true, God carries us, and He took on our flesh to say, um, I made it, it's mine, and it went astray, but I'm going to bring it back. Uh, and the bishop, you see, wears that. That little omophorian around the neck, it personifies uh, us, the lost sheep. And Christ didn't leave us lost forever. He went looking for us. We're the, we're the one out of all of the sheep that were lost. The angels took their chances. Well, not their chances. They made a decision to serve God, so they're okay. But here we are wandering around in this life. And so Christ came and said, come on back. I'm going to take you with me. And we said, no, Lord. Leave us alone. I said, no, no, I want to give you something better. We said, no, Lord, leave me alone. He said, listen, I got something better for you. It's unending life. So if we're here today, you are here today, you're going to live forever. There's no getting around it. Your existence is forever. Either with Christ on the right, or we choose to not be with him on the left. I'm not speaking in the hand right now, I'm speaking to those who love God and those who serve Him. So dearly beloved, this, this, we had, His Eminence gave us a beautiful sermon, and what it is to have faith in Christ and all those ups and downs in our lives, and knowing that Christ was the one who took on our limited human nature and raised us up to be divine with Him. So He sits on the throne, it says very clearly, He sits on the throne together with the Father, that His Holy Mother He took up into into the heaven, she's already there waiting for us. She'll be good to get there. That's it, that's enough. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I'm a two nine-year-old priest here. I'm not the most comfort photograph. Would that be okay? <clears throat> Father John, Father C. Dark, please, we're gonna take a photograph. Father Pitinum with with the uh, bishops, please, and the priests. Both the uh, Father John turned ninety last Sunday and Father Pitinum has right here last Sunday. Share the grace.
the refectory and we'll be serving lunch around noon. So please do stay, enjoy uh, visiting with each other. The bookstore will be open uh, while you're waiting for lunch if you want to shop there. Uh, but uh, we expect some others to be arriving uh, so maybe be able to join us for lunch. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But O Master, who loves mankind to our sakes, did die and rise again, gave us us these awesome and life-great mysteries, for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, that can be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, the faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace. I live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life, and so attain to everlasting rest. For the voice of those who feast is unceasing, the gladness of those who behold the unspeakable beauty of thy countenance is without end. For you are the true desire and ineffable joy of those who love you, Christ our God. And all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O oh, Master Christ our God, King of the Ages, Maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion with thy most pure and life creating mysteries. I pray thee, O oh, gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily in with the pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, and he gave birth to the true light. 
In light of me, you have dead me by sin, you that gave birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving mother, the merciful God, grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings, and enable me even to my last breath to receive the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, and I may glorify you all the days of my life. We are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Church where 